Welcome back. His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa received at Sakhir Palace the personal representative of His Majesty the King, His Highness Sheikh Abdullah bin Hamad Al Khalifa, the representative of His Majesty the King for humanitarian work and youth affairs, His Highness Sheikh Nasser bin Hamad Al Khalifa, the Royal Court Minister, Sheikh Khalid bin Ahmed Al Khalifa, the Bahrain Defense Force Commander in Chief Field Marshal, Sheikh Khalifa bin Ahmed Al Khalifa, and the Minister of Foreign Affairs, Dr. Abdul Latif bin Rashid Al Zayani. The meeting reviewed the overall situation in the region, the 2023 United Nations Climate Change conference conference of the parties of the UNFCCC COP28 that is hosted by the United Arab Emirates and the 44th session of the Supreme Council of the GCC that will be hosted by Qatar. The meeting also focused on several local topics, particularly ways to enhance Bahrain's comprehensive development process to increase national achievements for the benefit of the kingdom and its citizens. His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and Prime Minister Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa issued Edict 105 of the year 2023 appointing directors at the Ministry of Youth Affairs based on a proposal by the Minister of Youth Affairs. The edict stipulates the appointment of the following directors at the Ministry of Youth Affairs. Khalid Ahmed Abdurrahman Abdul Ghani, Director of the Information Systems Directorate. Maryam Isa Ali Awad, Director of the Human and Financial Resources Directorate. And Hashim Abdurrahman Hashim Al Kohiji, Director of the Support and Services Directorate. Deputized by His Majesty the King, King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa, the first Deputy Chairman of the Supreme Council for Youth and Sports, Chairman of the General Sports Authority, uh, the Sports Authority and President of the Bahrain Olympic Committee, His Highness Sheikh Khalid bin Hamad Al Khalifa, attended the closing ceremony of the 15th King Hamad International Golf Trophy, which was held at the Royal Golf Club. His Highness expressed a sincere thanks and appreciation to His Majesty the King for His Majesty's sponsorship of the tournament, which is a source of pride for the sports sector in general and golf in particular. He asserted that uh, this international event reflects the exceptional care that the sports sector received from His Majesty the King that contributed to many achievements for the kingdom. His Highness also praised the success of the 15th edition of the King Ham International Golf Trophy, which witnessed strong competition with the participation of a group of the most prominent professional players who set new records. He stressed that the tournament is of great importance because it is accredited by the International Golf Federation, pointing out that the holding of the 15th edition of the tournament reflects its growing success. His Highness congratulated the champions, praising their wonderful performance. His Highness also lauded the distinguished organization of the Bahrain Golf Association, headed by Major General Ali bin Sagr Al Khalifa. His Highness wished the association continued success. He then honored the winners. The Shura Council held its weekly meeting presided over by its chairman Ali Al Saleh. The council approved draft laws on civil service law and housing, and the, serve, the council also approved a proposal on the strategic inventory of goods. It also approved returning the proposal to add a new article to Law 17 of the year 2007 regarding vocational training and referred it to the committee for further study.
Interior Minister and Chairman of the Ministerial Committee for Information and Communications Technology, ICT, General Sheikh Rashid bin Abdullah Al Khalifa, chaired the committee's meeting. General Sheikh Rashid hailed the support of His Majesty the King to continue developing government performance to provide the best services. The minister noted that the directives of His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and Prime Minister in implementing this development is a priority for all government bodies. The committee reviewed the meeting's agenda, including the development of government websites, where the Interior Minister stressed the importance of developing government websites in accordance with international standards and best practices, providing the necessary technical assistance, simplifying procedures and data protection. The meeting highlighted the latest developments of the national appointment system as its soft launch will cover two authorities. The minister noted that the system reduces workloads and procedures to provide services according to plans. The committee approved launching the electronic death registration system and the national correspondence system. On the occasion of the conclusion of the sixth edition of the Bahrain Agriculture and Animal Production Show Marai 2023, the Minister of Municipalities Affairs and Agriculture, Engineer Wa'al al Mbarak, affirmed that His Majesty the King's patronage of the event has contributed to its outstanding success. He noted that holding the event is consistent with the policies of the government led by His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and Prime Minister to enhance the Kingdom's leading position and address the issue of food security. The Minister paid tribute to His Highness Sheikh Nasser for providing all facilitations to hold Marai 2023. At the Bahia International Endurance Village, which contributed to its success. He noted that the event provided a platform to conclude major deals in the field of agriculture and animal production. The activities of the 6th edition of the Baha International Agriculture and Animal Production Show Marai 2023, which witnessed a wide participation from inside and outside the Kingdom of Bahrain. More on this report. For the sixth year in a row, Marai Exhibition 2023 has recorded great public success as a scientific, investment, technical and entertainment event specializing in the field of agricultural and animal production. Various activities, entertaining programs, exceptional performances presented by the exhibition to the attendees, through which they learned about agriculture and the various types of species of animals of international origin or Bahraini origin, which played a major role in enriching their personal information about these different species. The Bahrain International Agricultural and Animal Production Show represented a qualitative leap in the level of previous exhibitions organized by the Ministry of Municipalities Affairs and Agriculture by attracting rare and purebred species in the world of animals and poultry that were localized and displayed for the first time in Bahrain, in addition to the Kingdom's successful experiences in the field of fish farming and agriculture. The Ministry of Industry and Commerce and Dubai Future Foundation signed an MOU on the sidelines of the Joint Supreme Committee between Bahrain and the UAE. On the occasion, the Minister of Industry and Commerce, Abdullah Fakhru, noted that the MOU aims to enhance cooperation in the field of fourth industrial revolution and industrial innovation in line with Industrial Sector Strategy 2022-2026. He also noted that the Ministry is keen on benefiting from the experiences and expertise of countries in anticipating a better future for the industrial sector. For his part, the CEO of Dubai Future Foundation, Khalfan Bilhul, has affirmed that this strategic partnership will contribute to employing technological applications, developing flexible legislation, and many other fields. He also said that this partnership will mainly focus on providing investments to support entrepreneurs, innovators, and research and development operations in various scientific and technological sectors. In our international news, the 20th Saudi relief plane departed from King Khalid International Airport in Riyadh, heading to Al Arish International Airport in Egypt, which is operated by the King Salman Humanitarian Aid and Relief Center, KS Relief. Uh, the plane carried various relief aids, including food, shelter, and medical supplies, weighing 39 tons, as part of the campaign to relieve the brotherly Palestinian people in Gaza. This comes within the framework of the role of Saudi Arabia in standing with the Palestinian people. The process of exchanging prisoners and detainees continued during the third day of the temporary truce. Yesterday, 39 Palestinian prisoners were released, while 17 detainees were handed over to the Israeli part as part of the second exchange of prisoners and detainees. Israel received a list of the names of detainees expected to be released in the third exchange, which is expected to include 13 names. The international community hopes to extend the four-day truce period to bring in all aid to the people of the Gaza Strip. 
The United Nations International Civil Aviation Organization said that more than 100 countries have agreed to an interim target to reduce emission from global air traffic by 2030 through the use of less uh, pollutive or polluting fuel. The organization said that the goal, which was agreed upon after five days of talks in Dubai led by the, international, by the United Nations, calls for reducing carbon emission by 5% through the use of clean energy sources such as sustainable aviation fuel by 2030. It is estimated that the aviation sector contributes between 2 to 3 percent of global carbon emissions. The Bahrain Tourism and Exhibitions Authority announced the final agenda for the events and activities of Bahrain Holidays 2023 season, which is held to celebrate the national holiday of the Kingdom of Bahrain in cooperation with various partners.